we want to solve these two equations. And this time, the very first thing we're going to look to do is to simplify each side. And when we're simplifying each side, really that means we're going to try to combine any like terms. Now, if the sides are simplified, then we're going to move on to using addition and subtraction to move letters to one side, numbers to the other. Okay, so let's start off with this one right here. I'm going to color code each of the terms. 5W, 16W, and negative 3W, those are our letters. And then our numbers are 6 and 54. In that first step, it's a simplify the side by combining any like terms. That's like saying, put the blue ones together, put the green ones together, if they're on the same side. So on the left side, I have blues and greens. I don't have anything to put together. But on the right side, I have blues, so I can put those together. 16 W's and the minus three W, when I put those together, 16 minus three is 13. So that's gonna become 13 W. Now everything else is gonna stay the same. So I wanna bring down my plus 54. I'm gonna bring down my equal sign and then the 5w plus 6 is going to be brought down. So the only thing I've done is combined these two because they were on the same side. Okay, now that we've completed step 1, we're going to move on to step 2, and we're going to use addition and subtraction to put letters on one side, numbers on the other. Another way to think of that, again, is put the blue ones on one side, the green ones on the other, using addition and subtraction. If you want to, you can put the blues on the left and the greens on the right, or vice versa. For no particular reason, I'm gonna move the blues, the, the letters to the left, and the numbers, the greens, to the right. Okay, so this one's gonna stay, and I need to get rid of the add six. So what gets rid of adding six is subtracting six, what I do to one side of the equal sign, I'm gonna to do to the other. So underneath the 54, I'm gonna also put minus six. That's moving the green ones to the right. Now I wanna move the blue ones to the left at the same time. So this is a positive 13W. And so I'm going to subtract 13W. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I do to the other. Okay, so then we wanna write down what do we have left on each side of the equal sign. This six got rid of this six, so that's gone. And then five W's minus 13 W's is negative eight W. Now on the right side, what's left over? Those 13 W's got rid of those 13 W's, so those are gone. And 54 minus six, is 48. Okay, finally, we ask ourselves, uh, what's preventing the letter W from being by itself? And it's sitting next to negative eight, which is multiplication. So to undo multiply by negative eight, I wanna divide by negative eight. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I do to the other. So this negative eight is getting rid of this negative eight and the W is by itself. I'm gonna bring down this equal sign and 48, positive 48 divided by negative eight is negative six. We did the harder one first because we had to combine like terms before I started using addition and subtraction to move things left to right. In this first, in this problem right here, I'm still asking myself, about step one, I wanna to try to simplify the side by combining anything that's alike. But on, I'll go ahead and color code that really quick. So the negative three X and the negative nine X, those are my letters. The seven and the 49, those are my numbers. So on the left side, I don't have a bunch of blues or a bunch of greens. There's nothing I can put together and the same thing on the right side. 
looking back at this one, I could take those two because they were on the same side and put them together. So we're done with step one. So we're gonna use addition and subtraction to move letters to one side, numbers to the other. I'm gonna move my blue ones, my letters to the left and my numbers, my green ones to the right. So I wanna get rid of that seven. It's a plus seven. So I'm going to subtract seven. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I'm gonna do to the other. I wanna move the negative nine X to the other side. So to get rid of that, I'm gonna add 9x. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I do to the other. Now let's take a look and see what's still on each side. So this negative seven got rid of this negative seven, so those are gone. And negative three x's and nine x's make six x's. Okay, then here, those nine x's got rid of those negative nine x's, so those are gone and 49 minus seven is 42. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just make this six blue for the heck of it here. Okay, so then I'm gonna ask myself, what's preventing the X from being by itself? And it's that six. When they're side by side, that's multiplication. So to get rid of multiply by six, I wanna divide by six. So let's divide both sides by six. X is now by itself. Let's bring down the equal sign. And then 42 divided by six is seven. Okay, so to recap step one, look at each side and if there are things you can combine, like there were W's on the same side, I put those together. But over here, I have blues and greens. I can't put those together. I have blues and greens. I can't put those together. So I couldn't simplify the side. As soon as you get your side simplified by combining any like terms, then you're gonna use addition and subtraction to move the letters to one side, the numbers to the other. You're gonna be left with a number next to the letter. And to get rid of that number, you're gonna divide by it. 